and I'm trying to like, why are you crying? Why are you crying? What's the matter? What's the matter, honey? And she goes, wildfire. And I go, who in the hell is wildfire? She goes, wildfire. Who? What? What is movie or what? No, the horse, wildfire. I said, you got a horse? She goes, no, the song, wildfire. <laughs> are you serious? You're crying because of a freaking horse? And you got covered on that. <laughs> Good morning, Double R Radio. <laughs> 7.41 in the morning, Friday morning, happy TGIF, Freeform Friday, it is, and of course, we're going down memory lane to the 70s, and I'm live, I'm and I'm live, yes I am, I'm live! Anyways, um, you know the 70s, um, jeez, um, my kids, and I know you think I'm joking around about it, but I'm not joking, my kids tell me, Dad, you got to get over the 70s, Dad! <laughs> my kids tell me that, and I tell them, look here, kids, Look here, kids, sit down, sit down for a minute. And I tell them, look here, kids, if it wasn't for the 70s, y'all wouldn't be around. That's true. If it wasn't for the Bee Gees, the village people, Peter Frampton, you guys wouldn't be around, so don't even go there. Now, it gets even worse. My grandbaby, baby Mia, my grandbaby, she's in the first grade, and she tells me, Papa, you got to get over the 70s. <laughs> Even my grandbaby's telling me, get over the 70s. That's terrible. It really, really is. You know, um, <laughs> I have pictures of the 70s, and I look at myself, and I go, oh, look at Bobby Remus. What happened to you, Bobby Remus? I mean, this is no lie. No lie. Back in my teenage years, I used to play a lot of pool. You know, play some pool. And I was pretty good at it. You know, I'd play all the neighborhood and I'd beat all, all my buddies out of their little pocket change or whatever. This is true. And um, I met a girl. And when I met a girl back in the 70s, that was it. My pool days were over, man. She took me away from all that, man. It was sex, sex, and more sex. <laughs> Come on, you got to be honest. I mean, I'm going to speak for us guys. If you got a choice of either playing pool or having sex, I know which line I'm going to be on. I'm going to be in the long line. The sex line. Yes, I am. Good morning, shout out to Deborah Camarillo. I'm in from Anaheim, California. Joining me, my dear. Check this out. Right now in Anaheim, California, it's 543 in the morning, and Deborah wakes up each and every morning just to join me on my morning show. Good morning, Deborah. There we go. Wake up, wake up. The man Maria Lopez, San Antonio, Texas, is joining me. Michelle Ramirez Williams, Spring, Texas, in the casa. Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas, who drops everything at her job just to listen to my morning show. There we go. But really, man, I mean, the 70s, jeez. Uh, I will share one story with you, and this is true. I'm not making this up whatsoever. No, I wouldn't lie to you. No, 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 no. I wouldn't lie to you. You know, back in the 70s, I was 13 years old. And my older brother at the time, good morning, shout out to Dolores, as it was Fernandez. Hi, Robert, driving to Houston, enjoying the show. Be careful, Dolores, but for what, be very, very careful, because as soon as you get to Houston, you need to make a donation to Robert Remus Radio. So be very careful, okay? After you make the donation, you can do whatever you want, but before that, be careful. Now, getting back to my story, and this is true. Now, when I was two years old, my brother told me, you're a teenager now, buddy. You're starting to be a grown man. Congratulations. And I go, thanks. Thank you very much. And then he goes, but to know, to get started on your teenage years, there's one thing that you've got to do that's very, very important. Do you know what that is? And I said, uh, play with myself. He goes, no, 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 no. That'll come in a little bit later on. You need to do a beer run. A what? A beer run. What's that? That's when you go to a store, find a buddy who has a car, the guy who's driving stays in the car, you go inside the store, you grab a couple of 12 packs of beer, and you take off running like hell and jump in the car, and he peels out. That's part of being a teenager. Do I need to do that? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. If you're going to be a teenager, you got to do that. So when do I get to the part where I got to play with myself? He goes, give it another six months. You can start on that. But for right now, you got to do a beer run. And I go, okay, okay, I'll do a beer run. So I found a buddy of mine. This is true. And we went to a stopping, a Mr. M. It was a Mr. M food store. Uh, he goes, I'll wait for you right here, Bobby. Let's see if you can do it. Okay. 
And I walk in, and I know the guy at the counter going, hi! He goes, hey, Bobby, what's up, dude? You gonna buy your normal big red and your, you know, pack of Twinkies? And I go, yes, that's it, that's all I want, nothing else! So I walked in the store, and I go to the back, and I grab two 12 packs of beer. And when I'm getting to the counter, he's looking at me, he goes, Bobby, Bobby, don't think about it, Bobby. Don't do it, Bobby, don't do it. I'm sorry, I have to! Don't do it, Bobby, I'm gonna have to call the cops on you, man. Don't fight the law, because the law always wins. I'm sorry, I gotta do this, my brother said I gotta do this, and after this, I gotta play with myself. And he kind of looked at me and started laughing, and while he was laughing, I ran outside the door, jumped in the car, and we got the hell out of there. Yeah, I'm not lying to you, man, I'm not lying. <laughs> but, that was cool, I got away with it, but the only bad part was, I could never go back to that Mr. M again. They put a picture on, 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 on the front door saying, if you seen Bobby Rebus, <laughs> tell him we're looking for him. So I said, well, that's the end of my Mr. M days, and that's true, that really, really is, man. My first beer run, man. I'll never forget that. That was special, man. I'm getting teary-eyed. I really, really am. You know what? Back in the year 1979, let's see what were the top ten movies back in 1979. Number ten was the Muppet movie. Number nine, Moonmaker. That's the 007. Number eight, The Jerk with Steve Martin. Number seven, Ten with Bo Derek. Number six, Alien. This movie, Alien, it scared the hell out of me. When I first went to go to the movie, I said, I don't see a border. I don't see no alien. It wasn't that kind of alien, man. Number five, Star Trek, the motion picture. Number four, Apocalypse Now. Number three, Rocky Two. Number two, The Amityville Horror. And the number one movie back in 1979, was Kramer Kramer. Anyways, it is Friday morning, free for Friday. It is 7.47 for the manana. I tell you what, we are going down memory lane through the 70s. Let's get it going. Little something by Foreigner. It feels like the first time. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The memories. I'm going to go get some rolling papers. Good morning, Double R Radio.